Good morning, boys and girls. This morning we're going to fix the problem that we had with our measurements. So I know that a lot of you can remember this. This is our ruler that I use on the board so that I can draw straight lines and my board is much bigger than your whiteboard. So I don't even think that this fits in the video. So that is the top of it, that is the middle, and then that is the bottom. So this ruler has measurements on it, but this whole ruler from top to bottom is a meter. And we write a meter like that. The whole word we're not going to use, we're just going to use a small letter mm, for meter. And that is how long it is, as long as that board ruler. Now, the children who have come back to school have to stay one meter, sometimes one and a half meters apart from each other. So I've told you this before, they are all sitting at their own desks in the classroom and then on the playground when they have lunch they sit on the grass one and a half meters away from everybody else and that is called social distancing which keeps us safe that we're not standing too close to somebody we are standing one to one and a half meters away from everybody else. And you will all know that when you go to the shops, when you go to pay, there are lines on the floor a meter apart where you can stand there and the person behind you has to stand there. It's a meter to a meter and a half away from each other. So at school, the way to remember it is if you put your arm out like that, and your friend puts their arm out, that's how far you have to be away from each other. That is about a meter. So that's our first measurement. And a meter in South Africa is the same as a meter in America, is the same as a meter in Durban, is the same as a meter all over. So we don't have a problem if we use meters as measurement because it's the same all over the place. Remember we had the problem of a small crayon or a big crayon and so on. So a meter is the same everywhere. Now we can't use meters to measure with our work at home. So you are going to be using your ruler. And your ruler may have two kinds of measurements on it. It's a little bit bigger than on the one side than the other. The one side has got centimeters. Right? And then the other side has got tiny little lines, measurements, and that is millimeters. Right, so you are going to be using your rulers to measure with, and you are going to be using centimeters. And then all of our lines and the things we measure will be exactly the same. So we've sorted the problem out. Now I just want to speak to you about these measurements quickly and the very biggest one, I'm going to draw it big because it should be at the top but now I've got no space, is kilometers. That would be if you measure going from Discovery from the Seoul College and you measure going to Cape Town. We would measure 
in kilometers because we will make a mistake if we measure with meters that would be too small and millimeters would really be too small there would be thousands and thousands and thousands of them and that's when we start making mistakes so they have made big measurements and little measurements depending on what we need to measure so now let's just have a look kilometers are the biggest so if you measure distance from one place to another when you're going on holiday your car measures the kilometers that you drive and I put on a lovely story for you because I know that whenever we went on holiday when my children were when my boys were little they used to sit in the back and say, oh, how much longer until we see the sea? This is taking so long. And the, the car would be measuring the distance that we would be going in kilometers. And now in the story that I have read to you, that you can listen to, is of a little girl who was going on a long trip to go and see her aunt, but she forgot or she kept saying that she didn't need to go to the toilet. So when you go on a long way, we measure in kilometers. Now this is just something interesting, that we measure in meters, and there are a thousand meters, one thousand meters, in one kilometer. So 1,000 of these will be one kilometer. So it will be 1,000 of those big yellow rulers. And then there are 100 centimeters in one meter. And we're not going to work in millimeters because they're too small. So we're only going to look at these three. But you are going to measure with your centimeter ruler for things that you can measure and lines and I've done a video for you to show you how to do that your ruler my ruler is pink your ruler is 30 centimeters long right so we would measure maybe the slide in meters we would measure a line or your whiteboard in centimeters and we would measure the distance from LaSalle College to your house in kilometers. We wouldn't do it in something small. So you need to choose which measurement to use but for your measuring this week, we are only going to be using centimeters. And then you can think about saying, I would use a meter to measure that or a kilometer to measure that, but not actually measure it. So now our problem is solved because if I have to buy material for a wedding dress and I phone up the material shop in England, because I want to have very special material. Or maybe let's do, um, I'm going to, yes, a beautiful um, material that I'm going to get. I wouldn't say I need a kilometer of material. I would need it in meters. And then I would be able to say I need three meters of that material and I will get three meters. It won't be like our problem that we had with the crayons and the small pencil or the big pencil or the big step or the small step. So these measurements help us be accurate and that's the word we use to be correct, that all of our measurements are the same. Remember, kilometers, very far distance, 
that we would do when we travel in our cars. You can have a look. It's called an odometer reading on your mom or dad's car. You will see that it's got numbers and that's how many kilometers you have driven in your car. Then meters, think of the yellow ruler and think of our social distancing now. Have a look in, at the shops, if they've put their lines in the correct um, position, a meter apart. And those of you coming back to school will know that we need to be a meter apart, to a meter and a half apart from each other. And then you're going to do your measurements in centimeters when you measure. Right, happy measuring and I'm so glad that we sorted out the problem that we're not going to be measuring in all different things and getting different answers. Our measurements are going to be accurate and correct.